Battle lines were drawn, rifles fired, and a toast to victory today in Maumee. Dick Berry reports how a historical milestone, 225 years old, is being remembered. August 20th, 1794. The Battle of Fallen Timbers lasted less than two hours, but had lasting consequences. General Matt Anthony Wayne's Legion of the United States defeated members of the Northwest Indian Confederacy and the Canadian militia loyal to Great Britain. The victory paved the way for Western expansion. The reason that's important is because um, that opened the door then to settlement from people that were on the East Coast. They wanted to come across the mountains and they wanted to settle in this very fertile land. But for Native Americans, it signaled the beginning of the loss of their ancestral Ohio lands. You're always going to find natives that are very bitter about the U.S. treatment of them. But for the most part, we now all come together and we fight together under one flag, the Stars and Stripes. Just one of the lessons learned this weekend at the 225th anniversary of the Battle of Fallen Timbers. Reenactors were on hand and an encampment set up at Sidecut Metro Park, not far from the actual battlefield. Among those here, Wayne's Legion of Field Music. Music was used as a communication system to soldiers from commanding officers. They played the calls for the soldiers to march into battle, told them how to load and fire, and provided moral support when they marched into battle. And here he is toasting his victory. To the Republic Toast. of the United States. General Wayne. I asked him a question that kind of, well, rubbed him the wrong way. Why do they call you Mad Anthony Wayne? Um, I have not accepted that moniker with any distinction at all. A lot of it has to do with the fact that I was a general during the Revolutionary War and I took a lot of risks. The anniversary of the Battle of Fallen Timbers continues this week at the actual battlefield site here on Jerome Road in Maumee. On Monday, golf cart tours, then on Tuesday, self-guided tours with ceremonies throughout the day. I'm Dick Berry, WTOL 11.